In today's abandoned video, we are covering the derelict St James's swimming baths in Doncaster, England. The pool and other leisure facilities are accompanied by interwar architecture from various eras, making it a unique building to wander through. Join us as we light up the dark structure in order to see some of the rare details that remain. Remember to click subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss a video. As the sun began to set, we were preparing to enter the large property. Doncaster's coat of arms is located above its grand entrance. Be sure to look out for this feature again inside the baths. The long pool itself was positioned to the back of the premises, noticeable because of its arched roof. It was around here that we were making our way to an access point with help from a local. Despite total neglect for seven years now, the roof of the leisure centre is kept in decent condition, yet it was still slippy to head across as we drew nearer to an entrance. With a tight squeeze into the darkness we were in. Although it was a pity that the ceiling skylights were boarded and the pool hall was difficult to film, we weren't going to complain at its size and ornate parts. Torchlights searched around the room for the multicoloured art deco banisters and Venetian stained glass windows that are almost unrecognisable due to the ceiling of the building. Nice and arched windows, but the place is, it looks modern, but I think the architecture is quite old. Looks like the ceiling was done up there. I didn't expect this sort of architecture as well, with the arches. Nice. Yeah. For an amazing £10,000, the baths was opened and equipped in the early 1930s. It was the first in England to boast underwater lighting that would hope to prevent accidents. During the winter, the pool would be covered, allowing concerts and film screenings to go ahead, which would explain our next discovery. I don't think I've ever seen a projector room in a swimming pool before, but no. it was at one time a theatre. I think this is the biggest pool I've seen though. Yeah, it's massive. massive. Like, and width. Yeah. There's quite a lot of water damage on yeah, the stairs. So like, everywhere. Yeah, it's dripping in, isn't it? Yeah. Look at these tiles there. This is alright. It almost looks like a church, I think. Yeah. This mosaic floor was one of the many original details that caused the property to be Grade 2 listed. There are also more unique design styles that we haven't seen prior that give the pool its historic nature. I don't know what these are. I guess it's just to hold up the wooden boards around the pool. Makes it a bit of a hazard to walk around it. I don't even think we can get into the pool. I wonder why they did this. Mm -hmm. 
some of the stunning remnants of unseen and dissolving architecture in St James's deserve to be shown properly, so here are some of our photographs taken inside. During the swimming pool's theatre periods, 1500 people could be accommodated for. Many performers played in the unique setting including the Beatles in the 1960s for a fee of £40. The pool closed in 2013 after various structural concerns that couldn't be fixed. Possibly the site didn't have the funds to attempt to fix the issues. It's very sad to see a place of such activity and colour be brought downhill to a dark space of silence and deterioration. Potentially, it's a nice staircase, a nice ceiling as well. <laughs> it looks like there's a, there, it looks like there's a fire. Yeah, that's right. Oh, there's another massive bit. Oh, this is weird. It's a maze. Stuff in there. I don't get why they've put all these boards in. Yeah, they've maybe. Literally, they've literally nailed them. Wow, this bit's severely decayed compared to the rest. Some lockers. I think these are the staff. You've got yeah, some. This has got like a stuff room kind of feel to it. Yeah, some kitchen supplies and mouldy food in there. A little coat stand as well. These are the mail changing rooms. <laughs> There's such an echo in this place, you can hear everything. So, although this place is generally in a good condition, around as I've been in here at some point. The changing facilities were in separate areas away from the pool, which was a special design feature that many baths of the time didn't have. Oh wow, look at the ceiling. Oh yeah, it was. And then there's the male one on the other side. Potentially, although the sign's gone. What notices have we got? They did skating lessons. I wonder where. Hmm, that might have been the reason it closed. A recent structural survey identified further exploratory works which need to take place. The bath will have fortunately remained closed until further notice. This is the crest for the area, potentially, or it might just be for the pool. What we weren't to realise at the time was beside the Doncaster crest, underneath the carpet was more beautiful mosaic that is yet to be uncovered. Hopefully its condition is still good, although it isn't being protected. I wish they hadn't boarded up a lot of the skylights in this place. It'd be really nice. Oh yeah, look. They just stored a load of stuff in the reception area and then boarded it up for some reason. Now we head into the very rare Turkish baths for relaxation purposes, one of the three remaining in the country. Thailand's really nice in here, these are the Turkish baths. Look at this bit in here. It doesn't quite like peaceful, is it? Yeah. Even though there's a collapsed ceiling. Yeah. We had covered all of the baths, and as our torches began to die, we felt it was time to head out of the site. It is up for sale currently in the hopes to find a buyer that can bring it back to life. <laughs> They've literally made a rope swing or something. <laughs> oh, snap. They fucking hell.
If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like it and subscribe. Here are some of our photographs of the dark property. If you like the look of them, feel free to check out our Instagram page below where we post images from our explores months before they are posted on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked our coverage of the site. See you next time.